Once upon a time, there was a little engine called Edward. He lived in a shed with five other engines. They were all bigger than Edward and boasted about it. They said, The driver won't choose you again. He wants big, strong engines like us. Edward hadn't been out for a long time, and he began to feel sad. Just then, the driver and fireman came along to start work. The driver looked at Edward and said, What's the matter? Are you feeling sad? Hmm? Would you like to come out today? Hmm? And Edward said, Oh yes, please. So the fireman lit the fire and made a nice lot of steam. Then the driver pulled the lever and Edward puffed away. And he blew his whistle. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Goodbye, little Edward. Look out for me this afternoon. He's very sad because no one will ever see his lovely green paint with red stripes again. Pull hard. We'll do it. We'll do it. Pull hard. We'll do it. The heavy coaches jerked and began to move, slowly at first, then faster and faster. We've done it together! We've done it together! We've done it together! We've done it together! really frightened Henry. James, why are you red then? Hmm? I'm a splendid engine, you see, ready for anything. You never see my paint dirty. So, City of Truro told Duck all about his famous run from Plymouth to Bristol more than 50 years ago. One of you, said the Fat Controller, is playing crud. I shall find him out and send him home. Boop, boop, beep, beep, boop, boop. The two engines whistled excitedly in welcome. Beep, beep, replied Stepney. Are there two of you? He whispered. Yes, we're twins. I might have known it, he groaned. Next day, the two engines were photographed side by side. You changed a lot, smiled flying Scotsman. 7101 said no more. He had a lot to think about. Is it from scrapular escaping? Yes. Then it's glad I'll be to help you. But we mourn one fast. Brake blocks and buffers, I'm slipping, he wailed. The friend took him to meet Wilbert, a smart blue saddle tank engine with six wheels. Thank you.